Bates. On the front row. Sticky loader. And we're off. In 1975. South African Grand Prix. And that was too much wheel spin. And we've lost some places. We seem to have a bit of a run going on here. That was a bit close to comfort. Some people have uh, gone attracted to my rear wing. Get back there. This is not your place. This has been a bit of an eventful lap. Not even done. Get back there. Made the move. Alright. So where do we shake out at after all of this? Seventh. Second to seventh. In one lap. He's got a run. He's backing out of it slightly. Alright. Phew! So, we have to get the chase on to get into the points. Go right to where? This is the 70s. Points only pay out to the top six. This is the socialism. All the while, though, we have a car right behind us. So we should attack and defend. Just the average start to uh, Grand Prix, then, actually. I think that's always been consistently good throughout the years of Formula 1. First laps. Absolute madness. Oh, always. What happens after lap, lap 3 is a bit more inconsistent, but first lap or two, always great. And if it's not, well, you might as well just turn off the TV. Because, well, there's no hope for the Grand Prix then. But here we are. Somehow, we've got nearly a second and a half back. I say somehow as a slide through the corner. That would be a good reason why you're a second and a half back. Gilauda seems to be making a gap up front. His teammate in the other Ferrari is getting held up here. Which, if we're clever about this, will let us sneak into the points. While taking some points off him. But going to the corner like that isn't going to help anyone. That wasn't the worst of runs, but they got a better run out of that corner. I've got three problem corners on this track. That last one, where if I can do it consistently cleanly, I can't do it. I don't get as good a run. Which hurts, because turn one is the main passing opportunity in this track. So it's much easier if you just pass them on the straight before turn one. Which is also possible with such a long straight. Next problem corner is R2 coming up here. This right hander, which has a bump right there on that new piece of tarmac. The thing I love about this track is the fact that that's not just there for aesthetics, there's actually a bump there. As we made the move in my second problem corner that I never get right. On Clay Regazzini. That's how you pronounce his name. The other Ferrari, and we're true. I don't know why it is. 
Whenever I'm not concentrating on overtaking, I just automatically make an overtake. Well, Duck. He's got the run back on us. A bit of overtake going on here. It looks like a tier, which. The tier will seem to be slightly down on straight line speed here. So. The are taking the opportunity. The are pretty fast here. And taking the opportunity all this hold up. Try to get a good run through this corner. Fair corner track, such an epic corner. Too conservative there. Let's see if we can make this. I just realized, thanks to that overtake last lap, we're now in a points position. So, the main objective of this race get past this Tyrrell up here because we can. Second goal, hold on to a points paying position. Because we really need some points if we want to be in this campaign. Still enough races to you know, get a decent position in the championship, but I would not like to go three in a row without points. That could more or less seal the year for us. I am faster than them through this chicane. Rushman is, is being held up by the Tyrrell. Just need to get a good run out of the last corner. I could possibly take Rushman. Ground there. Let's see if he gets this street. It's such a long, a long straight here. This street seems very powerful. Very important. Nearly bonds are like powerful. But you also have that twisty section that you have to keep up with. So, I don't know, this is the very good track for these cars. Does it? It's obviously there. And hold up, has Nicky Lauda been passed? Nicky Lauda's in trouble, he's actually dropping the turret up ahead. And the top six all together. Jeez, you don't see this <laughs> now anymore. Yes, a car has gotten ahead. I should be ahead as we try. A move that really wasn't on there. Yeah, we're all getting held up here by whoever has managed to get to meet. So, it's a 70 version of the Truly Train. Surely someone can make a move here. Stream like this. Now it's going for the move. And it takes back the lead. That car gets pushed out wide. I think it's is that Williams. Could be a Williams. Oh, and he's out wide. He's out. Whoa! And he's in the wall. Zero in half a lap. A 70s F1 for you. Also, 70s F1 is that while that any modern series would bring out safety car instantly after such a big hit, in the 70s safety car didn't really exist. So, we'll just all drive on. 
You'll see that as a freebie. What was this? Actually, looking at the position, that wasn't actually a freebie. That was the left car. Bit harshly done by by one of the shadow cars. And again, he did bunch the field up again. So, oh dear. Don't look behind you. Why he's gonna make a move there? He drove like he wasn't gonna make a move there, so it's a good thing he didn't. Have a look up the inside. That's lost his bit of time here. Got, this race has turned out to be quite intense. Really like if we just get past one or two of these cars. I know that's always the case, but we're in the last point play position. And there's a Ferrari behind me. I want some car I want a bit of a buffer. Oh look. Now it is pitting. The leader is pitted! Oh fuck me, this race is not good. And we got like nearly three wide up ahead, going into the first corner. Here, can I just stop driving this race? I just want to watch this. This is getting good. This is like the Spanish Grand Prix of 1975. I'm burnt. It's like the, this year's Spanish Grand Prix, which, which took the leaders out and. All hell broke loose. Spanish Grand Prix back then, 1975. I, I still don't know if they're really that good. Because we're up the inside. And I make a stick. Slide. And it sticks. Now we're in the fourth. Now I got two faster cars behind me. Uh oh, we gotta get past this turret. He's making a move up the inside. Bit of a drag race. The same Monza. Where the hell did he go? Oh, he's playing the long game. Slotting in behind. He was that powerful draft. Should have sorted that overseer out in the setup. Shouldn't have been lazy and taught Abby Grant. I didn't think I'd be fighting for points. Even though I qualify second, but you see me and how I qualify. You should qualify ten places in front of where I finish. Alright, don't lose it. Holding position right ahead. Seven tenths was second from a podium. That would be for this team. After a poor start to the season, I, think, I don't know, we only had one top 10. Not to mind actual points. So, podium. Oh, that would be epic. Just before we get back to the European leg of the season, lay down the gauntlet. And they're battling amongst themselves. I can hear a car behind me. I can't see a car behind me. That's worrying, I just saw it there. Right behind me. Outside. Oh, this is my corner. Oh dear. That was some grass. Grass in this car don't go well. Very good, then we race a car at tracks to have exclusively grass runoff. Deep, too deep. Try hold on to position. Need to get past these guys. Because Rosemont 
wants his place back. Uh, get some slipstream. stream. Can't see him, but I know he's there. to this. Come on. We can gain here. Don't go out in the grass. Hold on to it. This turn is costing us. This is costing us the podium. Because whatever time we make up in the first sector, we lose it right there. Get aggressive with this sector. Not usually a good one to get aggressive with, but we gotta push. Podium is there. Two tenths of a second away. Use the curb. As you do. It's pulling around straight. How are they doing this? I should have a more powerful car. Look at me go. I'm really racing driving now. Blame the car. It's a question why can't I get past them anywhere else but the straight? Right, who's on here? Tunes and force. Take a defensive line. This is all good for us. Tires. I don't know how many laps are left, but screw the tires. There's a podium on offer. Top four all together. Actually, it looks like top six are all together. And a right all over him. Come on, we can't get a good run off here. We'll never get a good run. Come on, sister. Pull me in. We gotta run. Shit. We don't have enough run. Up the inside. Shove him out of it. Hold him. Hold on to it, jeez, don't lose it immediately. That curb looks so innocent, but that just scared me there. Right, so now we've gone from nothing to lose to everything to lose. Right, pace out of the way. Surely we can catch up. A second. Got a better run off that corner. It strikes it too much, but how many laps? Last lap. Oh, Jesus. And he's right there. No pressure. No pressure. Last time we got to deal with that corner. Can't see him in my mirrors. Means he's right up there. Slightly conservative. Don't want to throw it away at this corner. I'm not fast enough here. Oh, no, 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 no. Get away from my podium. This is my podium. Mike's slightly falling down through all of this. Oh, because. Come on! Last kick. Ah! 
Ah, that's this. Woo. Turret. Okay. That's that was intense. So, third place, first podium of the season, obviously very good, very good for our championship, as those four points send us straight to sixth. Nicky Lauda, despite retiring with a gearbox problem, still retains his championship lead, clear at Regazzoni, and at one point, for sixth place, moves clear of Fittipaldi in the championship. Shadow got their first win of the year. I don't think they got any wins in real life, but they did get podiums. The Tyrrell getting the podium is a bit of an oddity. So, next we return to Europe, I think. Well, we can pretend we return to Europe because I don't have any track for the Spanish Grand Prix, so we're more likely going to be returned to Brazil. But not Interlagos. We'll see what I pick. See you next time. <laughs>